Fantastic win today, Billy. Wait a minute before we start. Neil Moxley, yeah. I believe that you and I want a race. Want a race? Yes, I see on social media you're saying that you and I should race for a pork pie. Yeah, go on. So what I would suggest we do yeah, is why don't you and I put some money to charity yeah, go on, and we'll go and have a race. Excellent. Okay, fine. How's that sound? That's Good. <laughs> Red, sorry, on you go. Yes, yeah, it's a fantastic win today, uh, Billy. Uh, especially the second half, I mean, you know, Patterson, the hat trick, it was electrifying, wasn't it? Well, Red, I'm, I'm sure you would agree that somebody was waiting to be hit for four or five over the last number of, number of weeks, number of months. Uh, you know, our play has been very good. There's no doubt that we create a, ho a host of chances. And there's a great confidence in, in the side at the moment. So I'm de obviously delighted uh, with the goals that we scored. I'm delighted with the clean sheet and delighted by the performance. Well, Mal Abdoon's penalty that started it all off, Billy, that was a bit of a, an audacious one. Yeah, a bit cheeky. Yeah, well, it's always difficult to get penalties against Mal Abdoon, but it's just one of those things that we've got to deal with. Yeah, it's one of those things that we've got to deal with. If the, the one that's not nom nominated to take the penalty kick decides to take the ball, he better score. Because if he doesn't score, then there'll be serious problems. So the fact that he scored, he's probably just saved himself, Paul. Uh, a hanging, a hanging in the middle of uh, in Nottingham. Henry Lansbury and Andy Reid. So I'm delighted that he scored the goal, obviously. Uh, I'll speak to him next week about the protocols of of the, the, the team and what goes on. And he's still learning, as you know. But uh, as I say, I'm delighted he scored, obviously. Delighted with the performance. Does that feel like you had a real, a real chance of a big scalp here with the team when it came out? That raise, raise expectation? Well, I've got to say that uh, we know that Sam's got bigger fish to fry. We know that he's got injuries like yourself. I wish I had £20 million worth of front player because Downing, Jarvis, Miyaga, Morrison are very good players. So, as much as we can sit here and talk about, you know, uh, all the bits and pieces and we know the importance of it, for me, the importance of the FA Cup is quite simple. Years gone by, Everybody wants to talk about the winner of the FA Cup. And years gone by, everybody gets excited about January. That's why we're delighted to be in the next round of the Cup. And uh, we're very, very pleased, obviously, to have beaten uh, a side that has got very good players. Do you have any sympathy for, for Sam at all with the way his injuries are? Absolutely. Without a doubt, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think it's it's obviously uh, the importance is to stay in the Premiership. That's That's the importance for that club, as you know. Um, there's no doubt he's got a host of injuries like we we've got many injuries. But as I said before, they came here, I'm sure you would agree, they came here to win the match. And we came here to win the match. And that's the important thing was to win the game. And uh, I'm pleased we've done that. Jamie you don't see a lot of Forrest. Can you tell us a bit about Jamie Patterson? <laughs> <laughs> Jamie Patterson. Uh, uh, fantastic young talent. Got a lot to learn. Uh, can play in a number of different positions, as you can see today. And uh, he's a f he's a fine young player. But, like Darlow, excellent goalkeeper. LaSalle's excellent young centre-half. Patterson's like the rest. They've got a long way to go. And they've got talent, but they now need to understand how to play in a winning team and play winning football. And that's their education they've got to continue to learn. Why did you chuckle when I asked? Is there some background there? Because I'm not going to tell you about the personality side, the, the lady, uh, Jamie Patterson. He's, he's great fun in the dressing room, this lad. He's got a great personality. He's well liked with his teammates. He's always got a story to tell. And as a single young player, you can imagine he gets up to one or two tricks. I'm sure you would. But uh, he's, 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 he's a great young player, fantastic young player. So you live on this, then? You think you live out on in the flesh pots of Nottingham, we'll live off this one for a while. Well, 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 listen, we've pinned him down. We've pinned him down in a nice flat. We've made sure that he's, he's behaving the way he should as a, as a professional footballer and, and a, a good young player for Forrest. But there's never a problem with the lad. He's a, he's a fantastic young lad, very well liked, and he's got excellent talent, as you can see. But that has to be said also for uh, Darlow. I thought Darlow was excellent today. Uh, LaSalle's very, very good. So these young players are learning and get, getting better. And there's a long tie as well, so you've got quite a chance, I think, to switch Preston to go further into in the cup. Red, Red it is, it's a home game, that's the most important thing. Uh, also, I'd like to say to you, uh, we've just agreed a two and a half year contract with Andy, Andy Reid. Yeah. That has just been agreed in the last uh, 24 hours or so. Good so news, he's had a hell of a season, hasn't he? Well, I'm delighted, obviously, delighted to have Reedy here, very important. Uh, he's a very influential player, as you know. Uh, we've made him club captain, and what I said to him last night at the team hotel, 
now go and lead this team to the Premier League because that would be fantastic for you as a captain, and uh, uh, you know, f and, and also for you as a player, uh, it'd, be, it'd be excellent for him. But we're very pleased to, to make that announcement. Can you bring us any other transfer news at all, Billy? Is there any development that's been made in any players that, that you'd like to bring to the club? Nothing at the moment, no. So you touched on it a little bit yourself, but um, in some quarters the, sort of the magic of the FA Cup has come under a bit of an attack this week. How big an effect can a result like that have on a club like yours? Well, I think I think consistency is important for, from our point of view. You know, we, we've been playing well. We're, we've been uh, on a good run. I think that's when we've lost four in 25 games this season. And... Uh, we know that we've not been clinical in certain games and we know that we have to add firepower to the team. Uh, but, you know, there's no doubt that the FA Cup is, a, is a, a, a competition that we respect. We respect it greatly. And we know that there's many other clubs in and around, you know, uh, all over the country that have got bigger fish to fry. We respect that. And we've also got more important things, with it, which is obviously the league. But it's still a competition that deserves great respect. It excites everybody. The FA Cup final, who wins the FA Cup? We can talk about all the years gone by, we can name all the teams. That's why it's very important. With well, that in mind, Billy, do you think, hang on here, this is a chance we can win this competition or we can go far? Ian, there's a long way to go for that. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to tell you. I, I, I would love to think that that, that that was possible, but we know ourselves that you know we're in the next round and nothing else. Uh, we'll enjoy a very good performance and a very good result against a... A, a very big club, as you know, and um, we'll get back in next week, feet on the ground, and we'll prepare for the next match. As a manager, Billy, would you consider it a risk that you could cause sort of a psychological hangover for Allardyce, gambling like he did, putting those kids out and getting done? <coughs> Not, you know, perhaps could have taken one or two to done five nil and be totally demolished by your team. Is there a big risk in that? Well, before the game, I've got to say that we were we were concerned because. As I said to you, over £20 million worth of talent in the front four alone. So we can we can single out and look at one or two young players that's been brought in, but there was a lot of talent in that team. And we had to make sure that we got our tactics right, we had to make sure that our, our discipline was right. We knew that they would get chances, which they got. And uh, we, had to, we had to make sure that we were up for the game. That was our game plan. Of course, I feel for Sam with the injuries that he's got. And, you know, the, the most important thing is is of course to retain Premiership status and uh, that will be a huge job for them to, to try and do that but from our point of view I'm just pleased to be in the next round and pleased to, to win the match obviously. 5-0 didn't flatter you though, it could have been any. Could, yeah, we could have got one or two more but I've got to say uh, if you've been at this club in the last number of months we have been creating a lot of chances and we have been very disappointing by not being clinic, clinical in front of goal and not being ruthless so you know, it's nice to get the goals that we got today, but at the same time too, we've got to continue uh, moving ourselves forward and realise there's a long way to go in the league, a long way to go in the next this competition, and, and we will certainly not get in any way complacent. We'll just keep working away. Pat, Pat, the forward pattern and scoring the score forward today, what's been the... What was... I know I was saying it's like Sam was that open frame, but what, what was the difference before today in terms of... From our point of view? I just think they've been a little bit unfortunate in front of goal. They've, you know, they're, they're, we've created a lot of chances. Uh, somebody was waiting for this, I can tell you, because the chances that we've been creating have been uh, many in, in all the games. We've played very well in all the games. So uh, I just think we've took our chances today. We've been very ruthless, ruthless in front of goal. And um, I think that's why we, we've got the goals that we've got. If you've got someone like Jamie coming into the form that he's shown today, does, does the need to bring uh, another striker in or two, does that it not... <laughs> mean as much or does, does it remain the same? From our point of view, no, I, th I think I think we all know that you know, if you look at the squad at the moment, it'd be nice for us to add some firepower. I've spoke to the chairman about this and uh, we both agree that adding firepower to the to the team that is developing very well. You know, it's got an average, I think the average age last week in the league match was 23.6 years of age or something. So it is a relatively young squad that, that we've got here and it's still a developing team but no, the chairman and I both know that we need to add some firepower, which will be a very long season, full of suspension, full of injury, and full of twists and turns, as you can imagine. Do you get the impression that Jack Hobbs is always on his way perhaps somewhere else? <coughs> no. Like no. he was sort of saying goodbye as he came off the pitch. No, not, not a chance. Not a chance. That's just Hobbs, you try to be nice. So we're, we're <laughs> going to apparently have made a bid. Is that something you have to match then, or how does it work? 
Well, uh, as I said to, to Paul last week, that uh, there is a clause which, of course, is in an emergency. And uh, as far as we're concerned, that hasn't changed. He's still our player. We'll look forward to having him here for the rest of the season, if that's possible. And also, what is more important is that the player does not want to leave this club. That's very important. And you don't need to sell, presumably, before you can buy? No, There's definitely no not. No. None at all, Red. None. How do we define emergency in the clause? Uh, if they take two or three injuries to their centre halves, I think that's an emergency. Will you now have to pay a fee if you want to keep them in the long term? Never? Well, that's up to the people at the club to sort out, Paul. I don't, I don't know the details. Obviously, the two clubs will now start chatting. All I can tell you clearly is the player does not want to leave and is not interested in leaving. The player is very happy at the club and he's enjoying his time here. And, uh, you know, that's that's the most important thing from, from my point of view, that we've got a player that is very happy and we've got a player that wants to stay here. And uh, we'll now let the two clubs try and resolve the situation or whatever needs to be done. Just one finally away from today, Billy. Uh, you say the O died overnight, obviously great world-class player in his day. Uh, do you have a tribute of any sort um, for, for him? Who, sorry, who's it to again? Yes, well, uh, I think we all know when you talk about the history of football, then one of the first names that comes up is this this man here. Uh, you know, there's no doubt that he was a, a special talent. There's no doubt that, that he's given us some outstanding video footage of football and talent and skill and goals. And uh, obviously it's a very sad day for the nation and for the, the family and everybody else connected to what was a wonderful player. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.